Good morning. I am here with a good buddy that has just moved to Fruta. He was a front ranger just like me. And Jason and I are going on an epic adventure today, starting here at White Rocks in the Redlands Grand Junction area. We are going to visit some very iconic locations as well. And the main icon who's done all this is Otto. Otto was the caretaker of the National Monument for a long time and the one who got it begun in the first place. So I'm going to give you a quick look at the uh, first obstacle that we are going to surmount today and that is going to be this big black gully as we go up Gold Star Canyon. There is a trail system if you don't want to deal with the scrambling of the gully but it's really beautiful scrambling and that black granite is very sound. So a lot of fun, really beautiful it looks like it's not even gonna go, and you're getting in there and it's getting really steep, but it winds its way up and is climbable with minimal exposure, but a little bit of class five climbing. So we'll start with that. We'll see you up there on our way to Otto's staircase, onto Otto's bathtub, and then we'll even visit Liberty Cap as we cross the top of the mesa and head back down to the Wildwood Trailhead. So take a look at the map and you'll kind of get an idea of this big loop that Jason and I have planned for today. We'll see you up there. Not 200 yards down the trail and we are going to go ahead and leave this White Rocks Trail and stay to the left and just head straight up this gully right where Jason's going now. All right, let the games begin. Jason powering through our first little warm-up scramble. And a beautiful backdrop here. Look at that. So lots of this looks like it won't go, but there's a little sneak right off to the right. And that algae is slipperier than shit. All right, exiting the tunnel. Yeah. Jason and I have dominated the steep section of the gully. Some really fun climbing in there, as you saw. So we're gonna bust out the top here. We've got a little more to go. Just some class three like this. And then we're gonna get back on to the Gold Star Trail up the canyon. Okay, Jason and I have officially completed the first scrambling section of this route up the Black Gully. And now I'm just kind of making my way back over the, to the trail. And I am trying to use washes and such just to kind of stay off this fragile terrain or at least to step on the rocks so we can protect this beautiful place because boy, especially in the spring, it is just breathtaking.
we are headed to the next little adventure zone. And that's gonna be Otto's staircase, which is just a short hike up this trail and then off to the right. You can take a look at that map and you'll see exactly what I mean. But just up here in Gold Star Canyon is definitely spectacular. So enjoy the ride. We'll see you on the staircase of adventure. That's where we're headed. We've reached Crooks number two. And there he goes. Careful, brother man. Jason's traversing the cliff right to that bolt by his right hand. All right, time for a little cliff traverse and then one final scramble about a quarter mile down. There's the loose small part. Wow, cool spot. That was a beautiful little scramble. We just got to the top of Otto's stairs. Well, and beyond the stairs, actually, to that final little head wall scramble, which is probably class three, maybe class four if you're nervous, but really not very difficult. So now we are on the rim of this Gold Star Canyon and kind of tough light here, but we'll give you a quick look. That's what it looks like. And uh, we're gonna rim traverse, and we're gonna go to one of Otto's next favorite spots, which is Otto's bathtub. Another neat spot. We'll see you there after a little, actually kind of backcountry traverse, and the best way to stay off the crypto soil is gonna be staying relatively near the rim, where there's a lot more rock. So I definitely urge that. And there's also some game trails, as well as I think people trails, probably Otto's. All right, till the tub. That's where we came from off to the left there. And dead ahead is going to be the plateau that is Odo's bathtub. Yeah, so that's the tub right there. And he had a rebar dam 
at that really narrow opening right there. You'd just stay on those stairs and you'd have to stem out right in the opening. If that makes sense, you reach across. Oh, sweet move, dude. Yeah. And that is Odo's bathtub right there. Cool. Oh yeah, so what's left of the tub? Right here. Nice work, Jason. Well, that was Odo's bathtub, cool as ever, and actually really happy to have Jason here with me because it definitely gave me the courage to climb down in there and realize that it really wasn't impossible, like I kind of thought it might be. And we are just gonna head out of here now, do a little over the top Mesa and to the top of Liberty Cat Trail, where we'll head on down another beautiful trail section. Jason and I have just finished about a half an hour of quick hiking across the top of the Mesa, and we have arrived at the very top of the upper Liberty Cap Trail. We'll head on over to Liberty Cap now. And then straight up there, I think. Yeah. All right, one ledge higher. And we've got some chiseled out stuff here. And some footholds. Way out right, you got a nice foot. Ooh, or way up. Nice. And there he goes. So that's Liberty Cap. Easy class five, I guess. You got a summit. Beautiful canyons. And then we came over here and that's where we're gonna leave we came from that upper lined rock trail and we're gonna leave on this really cool ledge pretty unlikely little ledge right there Fairly exciting in the winter. Really a non-issue for summertime hiking. All right, well we are getting to the bottom and the lower Liberty Cap Trail now. Kind of see that area behind me. Nothing incredibly special, but uh, still beautiful monument vistas. I think we are gonna call it good and hopefully you enjoyed this super classic loop. And Jason and I actually did shuttle our cars. One at the White Rocks Trailhead where we started up that super steep gully and then the second one at the Wildwood Trailhead where we're headed now. So we won't have to do any road walking, but we are gonna go ahead and head down to the truck and hopefully you enjoy joining us. We'll see you on the next one. All right, here we are back at the Wildwood Trailhead. Definitely a beautiful little hike. And this is where you'd park your second vehicle when you do this adventure. <laughs>